Hello there, welcome to another segment of How To with Alamia. Today we're going to be discussing the Honda GX120 engine. Uh, you could also see it as a GX160, but the thing we want to discuss is the proper oil level for the gearbox. And so this is a type of engine that you would see common on aerators, such as a walk-behind aerator made by Ryan or Bluebird or Clausen or someone like that. So we're just going to go over some of the basic things on how to set it up correctly. A lot of people uh, will get these products in the mail and they don't know exactly how to set them up. And next thing you know, they have to buy a new engine and no one likes to do that. So we want to try and prevent that. So what I have here is the typical Honda GX120 that comes standard. It's about a four horsepower Honda engine. It is a recoil start. And one thing you'll notice that makes it different from a standard engine is that it has a gearbox on the side over here, which is a, a 6 to 1 ratio. Looks something like this. Other than that, it's your typical Honda engine. The 160 would look identical. The most important thing here when you get one of these units is you want to make sure that you have the proper oil level in not only the engine itself, but also the gearbox. And so one way of checking is the dipstick here. This will be for the engine oil level itself and it has a neat little dipstick but what we typically tell customers is fill it up to the base of the threads. The threads come right here to this neck right here and you want to put straight 30 weight oil all the way in this crankcase until it comes up to this point. At that point in time you can refill this or reclose this the next thing you want to do is you want to check the oil level in the gearbox. A lot of these engines will come shipped without oil in the gearbox and it's very important that you put oil in here. The easiest and fastest way that we found is to pull this off right here, open this up and you may want to use a small funnel and pour oil, same exact straight 30 weight oil that you use in the engine goes right into here. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to fill the oil through here until it comes up to this point. The oil is going to come up to the base here, and that's when you know you have just the right amount of oil. It doesn't need to be full all the way. It's only approximately, I don't know, a third of the way full. But that's all you need it to be is right there. And then you'll close both of these down, and you can go on your way. One important note is that on most aerators, this engine, as it sits is tilted downwards. You want to make sure that the engine is level. So if the engine is already mounted on an aerator, you'll want to ensure that you tilt the engine so that the engine is level. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave feedback or comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Thanks again for watching this Alamia how-to segment with Thomas. Have a good day.